Question for you. Do you have a patchy beard? And if so, you're wondering why your beard's patchy and what you can do about it. If that applies to you, this is your video. My name's Nick. I'm the founder of Stubble & Stash. We are a premium probiotic skin and beard care company. And in this video, we are talking all things patchy beards. We're going to talk about causes and we're going to talk about solutions. Now, before we dive into it, uh, let's talk a minute about genetics. So we are all born with a certain number of hair follicles on our face, and that's dictated by your genetics. So if genetically you don't have many hair follicles on your face, or if you have parts of your face that don't have many hair follicles, aside from surgery, there's nothing you can do about it. So, you know, those ads you might be seeing for like derm rollers or like minoxidil, whatever. Um, if you don't have the hair follicles there to begin with, nothing's going to cause them to magically appear uh, unless you surgically transplant from your head or wherever uh, onto your face. So... Since we can't do anything about that, we're not going to worry about it. Some of us just have the genetics to have insanely full beards, and some of us don't necessarily have the genetics to have full beards, uh, which is totally fine because there are plenty of beard styles out there. We can make this work. All right, so let's talk about why your beard um, might be patchy. Uh, first off, age. So we think, you know, we hit 18, now we're adults and, and our bodies are fully formed. Uh, your beard actually doesn't hit its uh, full potential until your early 30s, right around the age of 35. And the reason being is because all of your beard, uh, your, your hair follicles, they start off as the vellus hairs, the vellus hairs, the, the young infant uh, juvenile hairs. And then as your hormones release, it signals those follicles to transition from uh, vellus to terminal. And that happens over many, many years. It's not like one day all of your, your follicles transition. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, if you're in your teens, 20s, uh, and you have patchy spots and you're getting frustrated, just know that it can and will most likely get better. Um, second to that, hormones. Uh, when it comes to beard growth, testosterone and uh, other hormones play a big factor in signaling those follicles to transition um, from vellus to terminal. Uh, so your hormone levels definitely play a role in that. And if your lifestyle has kind of cause your hormone levels to drop. So if you're not really that active, you're not eating well, uh, you're going to have lower uh, hormone levels that can influence uh, beard growth. So that's another thing uh, to consider uh, when you're asking yourself, why might my beard be patchy? Uh, and also stress. Uh, if you had a full beard and then you notice it's starting to get a little bit patchy or it's not as full, this definitely happened to me during the pandemic. I noticed my beard actually started to thin out a little bit. Check your stress levels. Odds are those stress hormones um, are interfering with your beard growth. Get your stress under check or get it checked. Uh, and then um, your, your beard growth will, will likely come back. That's one of the nice things we can bounce back from it. Now, all that being said, about 99% of us have patchy spots in our beard. Um, you just can't necessarily see them. So don't think that I'm sitting here without patchy spots. I do. I have some here. I have some here. Uh, and I have a few other places. Uh, and we're going to talk about why, you know, it's not that apparent. All right. So let's get into solutions. Uh, time. Give yourself time. If you're in your early teens, 20s, um, and you're seeing that patchy beard, uh, don't get frustrated. Um, zooming in a little bit, you know, more in a, in a closer, tighter timeline. Uh, we tell most guys, give yourself a month to grow your beard. Uh, just to see everything's coming in. Beards grow about half an inch a month. So if you have patchy spots, um, give yourself at least three months before you get discouraged. And the reason being is that our beard, um, we refer to it as a beard growth cycle. And I'll link to that video. We did another video explaining the beard growth cycle. Um, but they're different phases. And your hair follicles are not growing in all of the phases of the cycle. So if you grow your beard for a month and you have excellent growth in certain parts and then you have patchy spots, there's a very real possibility that that patchy spot, those hair follicles were in a resting phase when they weren't growing. So that's another reason why we say, give yourself at least three months, give that cycle time to work. Um, and even three months, three to four months, you still might have some of your follicles that are in a resting phase uh, and they're not uh, kicked in yet. So give yourself time. Uh, now, let's say you've waited three months, you still have the patchy spots, some parts of your beard are well formed and growing in and you have some longer hairs there, um, but the patchiness is bothering you. So this might sound counterintuitive, but trim. Trim those longer parts of your beard. And the reason why we do this is for symmetry. If you have really long hair here and then short hair here, it kind of looks off and people's eyes are drawn to it. Um, so just keep it nice, keep it clean, tighten it up a little bit, give those patchy areas time to catch up uh, and then take it from there. Now, as it gets longer, let's say you have some areas that just aren't going to grow, the good old beard comb over, which we all do. All the guys do it. I do it. Uh, so just, you know, brush your beard, the longer parts to fill in the, the parts that aren't as full. Um, great way to, to handle some of those, those, uh, those patchy spots. Uh, now, 
some longer term solutions, lifting weights, uh, particularly heavy weights, but don't go too heavy too soon. Um, compound lifts like, uh, and also Olympic lifts like deadlifts, squats, overhead squats, um, cleans, um, those big compound movements, there's going to develop your larger muscle groups, which is going to increase um, your male hormones, uh, your testosterone levels, things like that, which will have an influence on your beard growth. Uh, when I was in the Marine Corps, I lifted a lot for what I did in the military. And uh, when I get injured or things happen and, and I fall off the wagon, I don't lift for months, uh, I notice my beard kind of thins out. So while it's a longer term solution, it definitely plays a role in how thick your beard comes in. Um, kind of going hand in hand with that diet. Uh, what you eat matters. I mean, here in the West, the Western diet, right? Processed foods, energy drinks, like a lot of processed nonsense, a lot of sugar. That's all bad, man. That's all bad news for, for our hormones and our body's growth uh, and the way that our bodies operate. So the way to address that, you know, what we've all heard, right? Like eat your fresh fruits and vegetables, uh, you know, lean cuts of meat, seafood, poultry, things like that. Clean up your diet longer term. It's going to help with your overall health and uh, your beard health as well. Uh, and then sleep. You know, we talked about stress earlier and how stress can influence beard growth. Um, sleep is when we regenerate. It's when it's our body's recovery time. And if you're not getting around eight hours of sleep, seven, eight hours of sleep on average, uh, you're at a disadvantage. Your body doesn't have its time to, to repair itself. Uh, circulation increases while we sleep, so we're getting more blood flow to those hair follicles. Uh, and they can do what they do. You know, get those nutrients in there and start building out uh, that beard that you want. So really take a look at your sleep as well, because that will play a role in both your stress, your overall health, and your beard health. And also, it might not seem like much, but uh, your grooming routine, are you using any specific beard care products, like a beard wash, uh, facial moisturizer that's beard friendly, um, that's going to help keep your beard looking you know, healthy, keep your skin looking youthful. Um, so in, you know, if you have a number of patches in your beard, it, it might be patchy, but it's going to look well kept. It's going to look well put together. It's not going to look like some scraggly guy that just kind of like came in off the street. Um, so take a look at your grooming routine as well. If you're not using any beard specific products, you might want to consider throwing them in there uh, because they also do have ingredients that are going to help with that beard, help support some healthy growth. Uh, and lastly, just embrace what you have. Uh, some guys just can't grow a beard because of genetics and that's totally fine. So if you're in that situation where you're not happy with your beard, um, yeah, dude, like... I've seen some pretty like legit like patchy beards that look amazing with the way they're styled. So just style it to match your personality. Don't get bent out of shape over it. Um, don't compare yourself to other people. Every beard's unique. Every guy's unique. And just work with what you got and just fucking press forward, man. It's it's gonna look good regardless. Uh, you know whether it's a full beard or like a patchy beard. Uh, just work with what you have. And if you're maybe not that inclined when it comes to like styling your beard, find a good barber and they can help guide you through uh, what would help complement uh, your beard and your face structure and your hair uh, and what you're going for. So again, if you found value in this video, go ahead and give us a like. If you have any questions, comments, go ahead and drop them below and I'll also put the links below as well. And we'll see you on the next one.